17.0 features improved options for the Galaxy data and a much improved 3D map. The Galaxy data can now be got either from EDSM, as before, or from Spanch. The Spanch data has extra information about the main star types in the permit status of the systems. This has allowed the 3D map to present a colour accurate picture of your local systems, as shown here. EDSM data lacks this information. Spanch also holds many more stars. We recommend that you use the Spanch data from now on. You don't have to change right now, but when you have a chance, replace the Galaxy data with Spanch information. To reload the database, go to the settings page and select Reload Star Database. This will delete the star database. Click OK and Elite Dangerous Discovery will restart. Once the Select Galaxy Data dialog pops up, select Spanch and All. Once you've loaded Spanch database, you can see the difference in the 3D map. Make sure you have Galaxy Stars enabled to show. Zoom in close to a system and the program will load the stars from the database in the cube around your position. The stars will be coloured according to their types. If the Spanch database knows the type of the star. If it doesn't, a question mark will be displayed on the star. Right click on a star and a menu pops up, giving you the name and the star's position. You can click on one of the options to see more information about the star. New to the 3D map are overlay images. Zoom out and configure the map so that the galaxy is off and the star backgrounds are off. This will make the overlay image easier to see. Click on the overlay button to enable, then click on the add overlay button. To add a standard overlay, use the drop down select one of the overlays presented. These are taken from Ed Astro an entry will be created on the map with the overlay details. Click on OK and the overlay will be shown over the map. You are not limited to just Ed Astro images. Any bitmap you have can be presented on the screen or you can place inbuilt icons on the map. These allow you to mark areas in the galaxy. Click on the Add button again this will add a new empty entry. The first block is the name that you give to the bookmark. The second is the location of the bitmap. This can be from the web using the HTT prefix or a local path to a bitmap or a built-in EDD icon. To use a built-in EDD icon, press the drop down button and pick an icon. Then position it. Click on the position to set the centre of the bitmap. Press on the next button which allows you to set the size of the bitmap. These are all in light years. Finally you can rotate it around X, Y and Z. We'll leave it for now flat onto the galaxy. Then click OK to show the bitmap. If we now zoom in, you will see that there's a bitmap overlaid around Sol. You can configure the rotation of the bitmap here. For instance, if we put minus 90 in here, it will rotate around the X axis. towards us. Therefore it's vertical on the galaxy. The final buttons allow you to configure the presentation of the image. This button allows the image to rotate around the azimuth so that it always faces you. The image will now always face the viewer. 
the next button does the same for the elevation. The final two selections allow you to alpha scale the image to make it fade either in or out as the viewer moves in or out towards the object. If you set it greater than zero, it fades out as the distance decreases. If you do it, put it less than zero, it fades out as the distance increases. If you set it to zero, the next box just sets the alpha fade. If that entry is non-zero, therefore we're alpha fading by distance, this one sets the distance where the fade starts or ends. For instance, if we change the settings of the Ed Astro map to put an alpha scaling of 3000 light years and a fade out stop position of 800 light years, this means that when we move in towards the object, i.e. reduce our viewing distance, the Ed Astro map will gradually fade out and disappear as you get closer in. If instead I configure it with a negative alpha scale, the image will not be shown at high distances but will fade in as you approach the 5000 light year distance mark. I've turned the galaxy on and we will see the effect. The galaxy shows and as you move in the galaxy automatically fades and the Ed Astro map appears. Check out our YouTube channel for other videos showing how to configure and use other aspects of this program. So for now I say bye bye and fly safe commanders.